So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a bit of a trick or glitch in game that essentially enables you to craft items that you cannot normally craft. So for an example, uh, if you don't have gun knot rank 3 or 4, then you don't have access to the highest quality or the best uh, modifications for some of your weapons. While when using this, you can actually go ahead and apply those, you know, modifications that uh, gun knot rank 4 would give you without even having the required materials or the required rank to officially get them and it's a very cool trick that will work at any crafting station in the game uh, so for instance when i go to a chemistry station and i go to the grenade section the only thing i can craft in there is the molotov cocktail the thing below that is the baseball grenade and i don't even have the requirements in terms of perks to even be able to craft these in general nor do i have baseballs in my inventory uh, which is some of the materials needed to actually craft the baseball grenade but you can see when i do the glitch here or the trick i can actually craft them without having any of those requirements even met so it's a pretty cool trick in game one thing i do want to mention is that this does work across all platforms uh, both on the consoles and the pc and you'll be seeing both gameplay of it working on consoles and pc as well uh, throughout the video but how does this actually work well uh, once again it's kind of simple but it may take a few tries and basically the first thing you need to do is head to the crafting station that you want to do this on so for me we're going to start off here uh, with the workbench once you're there you then want to make sure that you have an item that you can craft above an item that you cannot craft so as an example uh, on my combat rifle here i can actually craft the powerful receiver but just below it is the hardened automatic receiver which i cannot craft and the reason i can't craft it is because i don't have gun or rank 3 which is a requirement needed to be able to craft this specific modification well, how it works is you want to go ahead and hover over the one just above. So once again, for me, this is the powerful receiver. And what you want to do is you want to press right and down very quickly. So you press right first and then down very quickly. And what should happen is it should bring up the menu saying, do you want to make you know this item for me once again? Uh, that is the powerful receiver. But you should be hovering over the one just below it, which once again is the hard and automatic receiver uh, for me in this situation. Now, it may take a couple of tries. You can see in the gameplay in the background, it did actually take me a couple of tries to get down perfectly. But as long as you kind of select the item and it's hovering over the item below it, that's how you know you have got this to work. And from there, you can simply hit craft and boom, I have now crafted the hardened automatic receiver without even having the required gun nut rank for me to craft it in the first place. And that's kind of how it works. It's a little bit hard to explain, uh, but the gameplay itself is a little bit self-explanatory in a sense. And I once again, I'll show you guys here again on the PC version and I'll show you guys on the PS4 here shortly as well. I want to go ahead and go over to the chemistry station this time. Once again, the only thing I can craft in here is the Molotov cocktails and the thing below it is the baseball grenades, which I physically can't craft. When I go ahead and press right and down, if I time it perfectly, so once again, you press right first, then down very, very quickly before the menu gets a chance to pop up. Uh, what should happen is I should now be hovering over the baseball grenade, but it should still say make Molotov cocktail. But when I actually make it, it's going to make me a baseball grenade instead because I was hovering over the baseball grenade, uh, as you guys saw there for the gameplay in the background. So it's entirely based off timing. You know, it will take a couple of tries to actually get this down. And once again, it's really just based off perfect timing. When you press right, it basically brings up the menu for you to craft the item. And if you press down just enough in time at the perfect time, uh, it should switch you down to the next item that you cannot craft. And from there, of course, that is where the trick plays into play where you can eventually craft that item. You'll see it working here on the PlayStation 4 as well. Uh, for this one, I do have the required perk and rank to get it, but I don't have the required materials, uh, which you'll see here again as well. That is another thing you can do. And uh, on, the, on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, what I suggest you guys do is use the D-pad to press right and then flick the analog down to press down. It's just a quicker way and a more efficient way of doing it, in my opinion, uh, on the console version. So you can see here again, I press right to actually bring up the menu, down on the analog stick to quickly go ahead and select down before the menu pops up. Boom, I can now go ahead and craft the next item that I couldn't craft because they didn't have the materials for it. So that is pretty much how it works. Hopefully I'm explaining it well enough because it is a little bit hard to explain, uh, but hopefully the gameplay as well is a little bit self-explanatory uh, in itself. But 
that's how it works. I mean, it's definitely something that can come in handy for you guys if you don't want to invest in certain perks uh, just yet and you still want to get the specific modifications or items and stuff like that. And I just thought it was something definitely worth sharing with you guys today uh, as a trick that, of course, is working after all of the latest patches uh, for the PC and the console versions. One thing I do want to quickly mention is that there is a giveaway being hosted right now and there's a bunch of YouTubers involved in this, uh, including me, and it's literally $2,000 worth of items uh, that you guys can win. So we're talking PlayStation 4s, Xbox One, TVs, a bunch of different copies of games and a bunch of stuff that you guys can potentially win. So if you do want to enter that, check the link down in the description down below and uh, you'll see several different ways that you can enter that uh, to potentially increase your chances of winning that awesome giveaway. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll have another video out for you guys tomorrow. Subscribe if you guys are new around and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.